gonna be a what I got from eBay on packaging. I have one, two, three, four. I got five packages to unpackage. So let's get started. This one's gonna take the longest, so I'm gonna do that last, but this one's kind of the coolest in my opinion. So we'll start off with this one. I do know what these games are, but I don't know which one is in one package, so it's still kind of a surprise to me. And one of them actually got another game that's kind of a mystery game because it took the seller a little bit longer to send the package off, and he decided that he wanted to give me a free game because it took him a while. So we'll see what that is. It's probably like a random sports game, but still it's cool to get a free game. So first one, and I, I don't care if you see my address or not. If you see my address, you want to send me something, feel free to. Alright, so first package, we got, now you can tell the disc is loose in here, but we got Godzilla Destroy All Monsters for GameCube. I was on a, or I am actually, still on a GameCube pick, and it's only the disc, it doesn't have the manual. I think I paid $8 for this one, and the next one was Rayman 3, Hoodlum Havoc. I also paid $8, I believe, for this one, too. This one, no, this one might have actually been cheaper, which is weird, because technically, if you value-wise, this one's worth a little bit more than this one, but this one is complete. I was really happy to get, to get this one, because I have not played Rayman 3 yet. Like, I've never played it before, so I'm happy to get this one. I've played the other Rayman games, but I've never played this one before. So, since I was on the GameCube kick and I saw that one up, I decided to go ahead and get it. None of these are, like, really good deals by any means. I just wanted to pick up some games. So, where I live, it's, like, literally, your options are GameStop. And if you want to drive an hour away, there's, like, a retro game store. But they've kind of gone back up into like GameStop prices and eBay prices so it's kind of pointless to drive an hour out of the way because most of the time they don't have anything and I don't get them because they started off with like being a like a big time retro gaming store and now they kind of focus more on other electronics like computers and cell phones and stuff so I kind of just stopped going there I still go there and check them out but only like when I'm in the area because gas wise it kills me to go down there all right so next package this one actually is not eBay this one came from Macari and I had a excuse my dog. I had a $10 coupon So I got $10 off I ended up paying $10 for the game But this is actually a pretty It's not like rare rare, but it's it's pretty hard to find and I'm trying to complete my collection With this cartoon because I loved it as a kid So I had to pick this one up And that is Animaniacs the great Edgar hunt this is also GameCube, if you can tell. It's on GameCube kick. And it's complete. This one, normally, if you find it on eBay, it's like $20, $25. You might get lucky you find it for like $15. But I sold it for $20, and I had that free $10 coupon, so I figured I might as well pick this up for $10. I couldn't find anything else, so I figured I might as well add that to the collection. At least I was looking for it anyway. So that's one less Animaniacs game that I need. And next package I didn't bring a knife or anything so I'm just carrying through these sometimes I like to try to save them but that takes way too much time and I'm not going to do that on video so I like to reuse packages sometimes alright this one is this one I believe I only paid 5 or 6 for this one it's Worms Blast this is actually a puzzle game and I'm not really a big fan of worms but this puzzle game kind of reminds me of like Bust a Move, and I love Bust a Move, so I figured I'd give it a shot. It's complete. From the gameplay that I've looked up on YouTube of it, it actually looked like it was really fun, so I figured I might as well pick that up and add to my GameCube collection. Alright, this next one is the one that has the free game in it. So, let's see what that is. Well, they really taped this one really well. This is a game that, the one that I got that I know what it is. I've actually been wanting to add this game back to my SNES collection for a long time now. And I think I paid $9 for this, which was a decent deal for it by itself. But it's even better when they gave you a free game because it took a while to ship it out. 
Oh, it's actually a decent game. I was expecting a sports game. It's decent. It's really nice. Okay, so the first thing, it's it's wrapped in, in like, it's not, what's this called? Stupid moment. Shrink wrap. It's wrapped in shrink wrap. You would never know that I was once blonde before, would you? All right, so let's, I'm trying to undo this, but it's not cooperating. Okay. So this, I can't really tell because there's a sticker on the inside, but it came with this case, and he actually said that he made this, he made this sticker, and it's supposed to be Stimpy from Ren Stimpy, and it says Space Jockeys on his underwear, which is really funny. But the game, there's a sticker. And it says thank you from who I got it from on the back. And the game is Space Ace. I loved this game when I was a kid. And I traded it when I traded my SNES, which I regret to this day. And um, obviously they've switched the backing out with this game. Because the front part is gray. And the back part is like yellow from like an old game. So I'm definitely going to have to replace the backing. I'll just get an old sports game and replace it. If I can find what I did with my uh, my little tool to get these little things out with. But anyway, we got Space Ace and it came with the manual. It's really beat up, but it's still the manual. It's like kind of water damaged. Uh, this is kind of like a rental case that you just get, you used to get in rental stores. And then the free game, which I'm not going to be able to play because, I mean, I have a PC, so I might play this. I don't know. My PC is not really a like a gaming PC, but it's Duke Nukem Man Manhattan Project Total Mutant Mayhem. That is a lot of M's in the title. So I might keep this, might get rid of it, I might give it a try. It, it, I don't know if this is like officially sealed or if he resealed it, I can't really tell, but anyway, it's a free game, so I'm not going to complain, so we got that. Okay, so last but not least is a bunch of posters that I got on eBay. And they all came from a Nintendo Power poster magazine. And now that I have a game room, which you guys will see a glimpse of what that is in this video. The reason why I'm not filming this video in there is because I haven't gotten it done yet. But I will give you a glimpse of what I have gotten done at the end of this video. So watch for that. But I want to put these up in there. And this was $15. I want to $15. It might have been $20 with shipping, but it was $15 to $20. And... I thought these would go really good with my game room, and they're not too big, so they don't take up too much room. So let's get them out, and I'll show you guys what I got. I'm trying to tear this open without tearing any of the posters. Okay. As you can tell, they have it packaged in here pretty good, which is nice. Make sure I didn't leave anything else in there. No. Okay. It was a Nintendo Power Posters magazine. I don't know if all of these came out of this specific issue or not, but because this is obviously like loose from it. But this this one specifically doesn't have a date on it. I thought it might have a date on it. But anyway, so we got different posters. They're double sided. This is from Tales of Symphonia: Dawn of the New World. Just like that on that side, and on the other side is Drama Center Under the Knife 2. Looks like that. And this one is Mario Kart Wii. And it's also Mario Kart Wii on the back. This is actually kind of cool because, like, I haven't seen the back, like, they only showed one side of these in the picture on eBay, so I haven't seen what the back sides look like. Super Mario Galaxy. Oh, I really love this one on the back. And that, this one on the back was not in the picture. Super Mario Galaxy on the back. It's also Super Mario Galaxy. But look at that picture. I love that picture. And you know what I might actually do with these? I have dark hair like all over me. Sorry. <laughs> you know what I might actually do with these is take some... It's kind of too big to take like a copy of it. But I might try to take copies of it. And like print it off on some like you know, photo paper, make some copies, and uh, that way I can have both sides instead of just having to pick one side or the other. The next one is Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. And on the other side is 
Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword. I'm trying to read it upside down. Then we got Knight's Journey of Dreams and Benga O Spirits on the back. This one's a really cool one. This is Mario Strikers Charged. And on the back is Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. So this is another one that I would like to have both sides of. But I forgot some way of making copies. If anybody has any idea, let me know. Or some cheap way of doing it. Then we got Mario Party 8. On that side. And Mario Party DS on that side. Like right, This is Mega Man. I couldn't tell in the picture if it was Mega Man or not. But it was. And I love Mega Man. This is Mega Man 20th Anniversary. Oh, there's two pictures. See, I've got to figure out how to copy these. It's the same... On the other side, different picture. I wish Nintendo Power would come back. Alright, then we got Super Smash Brothers Brawl on this side. And it's also Super Smash Brothers Brawl on the other side. I really like this side though. Alright, and then next is Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. And on the other side is Mega Man ZX Advent. Oh, this is really nice posters in my opinion. Here is a game that I have, but I haven't played yet and I really need to. Elite Beat Agents. I've heard really, really good things about that game. And then on the other side is Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. I never knew that these posters, like Nintendo Power posters, magazines actually existed by themselves. I, I never knew that. Alright, then we got Metroid Prime 3 Corruption on that side. And it's also Metroid Prime 3 Corruption on the other side. You guys let me know after you guys see these posters, if you could see them because it's kind of far away. Which one was your favorite? Then on this side we have Sonic Chronicles of Dark Brotherhood. And it's also Sonic Chronicles of Dark Brotherhood on the other side, but I do like this side better. And that is the last one. So that is everything that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned. I'm going to try to do more videos like this. I actually do have a couple more things coming in. So when I get a few more things together, I'm going to do another like eBay unpackaging video. Every now and then when Makari gives me a coupon, I get something off of Makari. But not very often, so when I do offer that in the eBay stuff as well. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope everybody has a great day.